Yeah, I think that the the first thing you see is is if you if not to go right down the order, but you know a very critical one was that we simply just didn't get the ball. You know, if we get the ball handed off, if you go back and look at the film from your all's point of view, you see a, a very good and, and easy way of completing a huge one or, or running for a huge one. Um, so simply just honoring the football and, and making sure we get the ball and exchange off. Uh, the second one that led that was very critical was just we had, a, we had an execution error of covering guys up, um, both by, by our tight end position, O-line position, get guys covered up, and we didn't execute. Um, and, and when you don't do that, it's hard to convert, right? So. Um, those things are the reasons why you don't. Um, that's not dodging an exact answer or those things. It's just there's no one thing, right? There's, there's simple things of ball exchange and there's simple things of just executing our jobs, putting bodies on bodies in critical downs at third and short, and, and finishing our jobs. And our staff certainly owns it. I own it. And, and I know our guys are charged to be better at it. Coach, when you talk about the offensive line and the struggles that they had on Saturday night, you know, how do you – Rectify that, and in, in, in the second part of that question is estimate just couldn't get going in that game. Only ten attempts, though. Was there a reason that he didn't, you know, take more than that throughout that matchup? Yeah, I, I would maybe correct it to say, listen, our, I, I stand for, beside, and with our offensive line. Um, they struggled at times. We all struggled at times, right? Um, we all did. So I wouldn't let it just fall on them. And again, it starts with me. I think that that needs to be said. You know. It, We've all got to execute better. We've all got to be better, and I mean that. And I think that's how we do it. We, we work with each other and for each other, and they know that. I think this offense knows that out of us and our staff. And then the second piece would be, like, Audric Estime knows and believes in our staff, and, and he knows that I and we believe in him. Um, the game as it developed sometimes doesn't allow you to get what you think you're going to be able to get for an Audric within our game plan as the game separated and developed the way it did and how they were attacking us. There were throws and different situations we had to go to to put ourselves in a better position, and that's all it was. Audric's a big piece of this thing, and he'll continue to be. And then one more. Jordan, the emergence of Jordan Faison and what he brings to this offense, bringing him on from the scout team and having trust in him in that matchup to put him out there, what, is, what does that say about him and you know, your trust in him? Yeah, I think trust, you know, Coach Freeman says all the time, trust is earned, and Faison has deserved and earned the right for us to trust him to put him out there. So no one second guessed that. Everybody knew that he would go out and then really perform at a high level. So he did that in a very short dose, right, dosage. Now we've got to put him out and give him opportunities to continue that and play at a high level with more reps as, we, uh, as he earns the right.